Hi, today I'll be doing a detailed comparison of GoodNote 6 and Apple's Freeform app. Both of these tools are designed to help with note-taking and idea organization, but they approach it in very different ways. If you've been trying to decide between the two or you're just curious about which one might suit your workflow better, this video is for you. Let's get started. GoodNote 6 has been around for years and it's one of the most beloved note-taking apps, especially for students, professionals, and anyone who enjoys handwriting notes on an iPad. Think of it as your digital notebook. You can create different notebooks, write with Apple Pencil, annotate PDFs, organize your work into folders, and basically recreate the paper experience in a much more flexible and searchable way. Over time, GoodNotes has expanded its focus, adding features like AI assistance for handwriting, smart study tools like flashcards, and advanced PDF management. So it's not just about jotting things down, it's about creating an organized system that enhances productivity and learning. Freeform, on the other hand, is Apple's fairly new entry into the productivity space. Instead of acting like a notebook, Freeform is more of a collaborative whiteboard tool. Imagine a giant endless canvas where you can drop text, images, sticky notes, sketches, web links, and even PDFs all in one place. What sets Freeform apart is its emphasis on brainstorming, collaboration, and free-flowing creativity. It's less about structure and more about visual thinking. Apple designed it for teams and individuals who want a space to brainstorm ideas, plan projects, or visually map out concepts without worrying about the restrictions of a notebook-style layout. So while both apps fall under the umbrella of note-taking and idea capture, they serve very different purposes. GoodNotes is structured, academic, and organized, while Freeform is open, flexible, and built for brainstorming and collaboration. Now let us talk about the main features of both platforms. We start with GoodNote 6. Advanced handwriting support with Apple Pencil, including handwriting recognition and conversion to text. Built-in flashcards and AI study tools to help with learning. There's also multiple notebook styles and templates for subjects, projects, or personal use, which you can find in the GoodNotes marketplace. Annotation tools for PDFs, making it excellent for students and professionals who deal with documents. You can document organization with folders and search functions, even inside handwritten notes. And cross-device syncing with iCloud so your notes are always accessible is a great feature. It is also good to know that you can use it across different platforms, including iOS, Mac, Windows, Android, and even a web version. How about Freeform? Freeform has an infinite canvas where you can drop in text, sticky notes, shapes, images, and links. It has collaboration features where multiple users can edit in the same board in real time. Smooth Apple ecosystem integration. You can share a Freeform board directly via iMessage or FaceTime. Ability to embed different types of content, from photos to PDFs, and arrange them however you like. It is also great for brainstorming sessions, mind maps, visual project planning, or team ideation. So while GoodNotes is more of a personal note-taking powerhouse, Freeform shines when it comes to creative collaboration and visually mapping out big ideas. Now let us talk about the pricing. GoodNotes has a free version, but the free version is limited with a few number of notebooks. If you want unlimited notebooks, you will need to go for the paid plan, which is either a yearly subscription or a one-time payment. When you download the app and install on your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, Windows or Android, you will get the opportunity to pay for premium services. Freeform, on the other hand, is completely free, but with a catch. It's exclusive to Apple devices and it comes bundled as part of the Apple ecosystem. So if you're in the Apple ecosystem, you're good. But if you use Windows or Android devices, then Freeform might not be accessible to you. What are the pros and cons of using these platforms? We start with the pros. For GoodNote 6, excellent handwriting and PDF annotation tools. It is perfect for structured, organized note-taking. AI-powered features that make studying and reviewing easier. 
and it works seamlessly with the Apple Pencil. And for Freeform, it is completely free with no hidden costs. The Infinite Canvas is perfect for brainstorming and creativity, real-time collaboration with Teams, and it has a great integration with Apple's ecosystem like Messages and FaceTime. How about the cons? For GoodNote 6, subscription pricing may not appeal to everyone, and the free plan might limit what you can get. And the cons of Freeform? It is only available on Apple devices, and it is better for ideation than for serious documentation. So, which is the better note-taking app in 2025? Well, I'd say it really depends on what you need. In reality though, many people find themselves using both apps together. GoodNote 6 for structured personal note-taking and Freeform for team brainstorming or mapping out ideas before turning them into detailed notes. So the best app really comes down to whether you value structure and organization or creativity and collaboration. And that's it on the review and comparison of GoodNote 6 and Freeform. If you're looking to try other alternatives, you may explore Notability, Microsoft OneNote, and Obsidian. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.